workforce knowledgeable in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics disciplines is vital if the United States is to remain competitive on the global stage. These disciplines are necessary to ensure the nation's defense in an ever more complex strategic environment. Unfortunately, the number of U.S. college students seeking a degree in one of the STEM disciplines has remained flat for more than 10 years. Leaders in both industry and government have decreed a widening skills gap in which native talent is insufficient to meet the growing demand for STEM expertise. The Office of the Secretary of Defense has made one of its mission goals the promotion of a workforce qualified to take on the toughest technological challenges confronting national defense. Recognizing the serious dilemmas posed by the skills gap, the SEI launched its STEM initiative in 2013. This program has grown in the subsequent years and now includes sophisticated and engaging events that aim to inspire young people and open their eyes to the many exciting opportunities in front of them, in particular, those in the fields of software engineering and cybersecurity. One such event took place in July 2016. The SEI leveraged a state-of-the-art training environment it designed for use with Department of Defense organizations to provide 75 high school kids an engaging crash course in cyberkinetic tactical operations. A first for the SEI, the exercise connected cyber and kinetic missions in real time. The SEI created the cyber component of the exercise using the SEI's Cyber Leap Forward training environment. It then integrated a virtual kinetic battle simulator produced by a third-party vendor. This integration resulted in a rich training environment that extended from the cyber realm into the realm of events taking place in a simulated combat environment. Adding realism to the exercise, grad students from Carnegie Mellon University portrayed Navy SEALs of Task Force 44. The students worked to provide remote support for the task force's hostage rescue mission. From their computer stations, the students operated a Scan Eagle unmanned aerial vehicle to locate enemy forces. They hardened Scan Eagle's control system against enemy compromise. They gained access to the enemy network and cracked the building management control system, cutting lights during a critical phase of the operation. Through it all, the team of students communicated with the SEALs of Task Force 44 and worked to execute numerous other actions to support the SEALs' mission and hinder the pirates' ability to operate. We learned first and probably most importantly how to harden and defend um, pretty much like any computer system. I'm actually going to do it to my computer at home to make sure like it's a lot harder for people to get into my own device. It was really interesting to see the real world application of what we were doing here. It's a scenario where we're trying to um, infiltrate an enemy system so that we can gain control of their power and alarm systems so that whenever we tell our team of Navy SEALs to go in they won't be uh, warned and attacked. And in order to get the task done we had to like use teamwork and communication skills. It just makes me feel like I'm actually working with cybersecurity. And there's tons of people out there who are completely unaware of the possibilities of like what malware can do. I mean, I was a starter level when I come in and I feel like I've learned a lot, so I definitely recommend it to a lot of people. Between seeing how easy it is to break into the different systems and such and how little that I already knew regarding how to make it harder to break into them, um, everyone could have probably used this course. Events such as these represent the SEI's ongoing commitment to STEM education and to inspiring the technology workforce the United States needs for the future.